What's up, troop? So this is specifically love and relationship related for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have pre-drawn some cards because these are going to be, you know, quick, big monthlies. All right, so I'm going to have to definitely keep these since they all fell out just now as I was pre-shuffling. We will get to these, though, in a moment. So first and foremost, what a card. Ah, messages, number 27. Some messages, um, they revolve around air and water signs, okay? This is like uh, the Three of Pentacles, growth, working together, technical things. However, in this instance, it is communication, okay? And being able to, like, telepathically send a message to the person in question that you are thinking about, okay? Again, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Summer, Rising, and Venus, all water signs. This message does not resonate for you or want in the future. This message wasn't for you. Pull on for many energies. Okay, anyways. Next, we have Moon, Soul, which also represents like the High Priestess, so you are showing up in your own readings. Okay, this is deep soul connections, very, very deep love. Uh, a person uh, that feels like home, familiarity, but it's, it's strange to you how this connection is, how it feels. Um, you're like telepathically communicating to this, this person and you may not be completely aware. And this could be vice versa, okay? Sending messages at night in your sleep is what I'm picking up here. And a lot of paranoia. Like there's these, these are things that you are. Huh. These are. Things that your soul sends out. You know what I mean? Uh, while your small self is sleeping. Because when you're awake. Your 3D self is too paranoid. You feel. This. Connection is too strange, too odd, too many questions unanswered. Um, and you, your 3D self doesn't trust it. But when you are asleep, your soul is sending messages to this person and they are actually reaching them in their dreams. And then we have promise. Okay, that is a commitment. Again, the new moon. Maybe by the next new moon, you'll actually speak to this person. Okay? This is a deep love. This is a deep... Like, really focusing on that person that you're thinking about. Really, your uh, soul is offering a promise of, Hey, because this is a person from your past. I'm coming back. Whether that be in another life or this life, this is a person from the past. You really need to pay attention to what your soul's been saying to you. Wow, okay. Then we have destiny. One door closes, another opens for you. Let plans of destiny unravel true. Silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind to meditations, grace, and soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. 11-11. We all know what 11-11 means. Don't be afraid to comment. Numbers and double synchronicity and two, don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Right? Because I said your 3D self isn't speaking what your true heart wants. You're being very silent, but your soul is sending messages. And you guys think of each other at the same time. Like, and you're paying attention to clocks and you're looking at old messages. And you felt so familiar with this person. You ran from all the paranoia. All right, let's still see what's come out here. <sighs> Wedding. Deception. Worth waiting for. And trust. Right. So definitely deceiving yourself. Someone is not being true to the other person. Hiding all their emotions and hiding how they really feel because they don't feel... They don't feel 
like it's natural. You know what I mean? Like this is too crazy. This can't be true. This must be uh, bad for me. You know what I mean? But this is the person that you were supposed to marry. And I always notice on his face, he's always like, I don't know, I don't know. Even though I'm linked in arms with her, man, I don't know. And she's like, I love him. I know I've always loved him. And this person's like letting the paranoia sink in. Exactly what I see. And worth waiting for. You know, timing is definitely involved here because there's uh, some things that the 3D self has to work out first. While the other person's like literally sitting and waiting and being like, I knew I had to wait. I've held my whole life up like waiting for you. And the situation is calling for you to have faith. You're needing to have faith in what, you know, your small self is trying to tell you. Not the paranoia. You need to learn that you could, this person actually was trustworthy. They were loyal to you. They did not lie. They were, you know, when you were with them, you actually knew that but apart. Some people may have got into your head. Yeah, people got into your head. And the other person's looking like, listen, you just loved me five seconds ago. What's going on? We have so much passion and when we're together, you know. I just paid attention to this card flipped over. Palmistry. Fortune and tarot. Collective destiny. The palm lines from birth tell your sacred palmistry. Listen to the notes of intuition. Right. Your intuition has been screaming about. Like they're sending so many secret messages in your guys' sleep to each other. Alright. I'm trying to see what deck I want to use. Give me a sec. We're going to get a few actual tarot here. But I did split the cards and I have the Nine of Swords and the Emperor. It's like you're letting those negative thoughts like control your life. And you're not listening to your inner soul water signs. You guys are pretty intuitive, but it's like you let intuition take a back seat to the paranoia of what other people might think or the downfalls or, you know, you're not open. For someone that's so emotionally in depth, you guys really hold a lot in and don't share how you feel. You let paranoia, like, take hold of you. What can they expect, Tarot? Ah, yeah. One person's shouldering this burden from this hurt and this deception. Someone definitely lied. And, uh, huh. And broke their trust. So we have judgment. What can water signs expect of this, please? And the Emperor again. What can water signs expect of this, please? You got two major arcanas out, though. The Chariot. Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. And the Mother of Swords. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. With these being the first two energies out, that's pretty powerful, man. You got judgment. Freeing. That's what I keep seeing here. Freeing. All those negative thoughts. Untrapping yourself. Crawling out of the muck. Crawling out of the burden. <sighs> To really shine bright, to be able to see the forest through the trees, deciphering what is false, listening to your intuition, person from the past, judgment, reconciliation, right? This is husband, this is boss, lover, just need to learn to control all the dark thoughts, free yourself, be the light. Sag Aries, 
We got Cancer showing up in the reading. That's really having the intuition, the pinnacles, and the enlightenment to really move forward to the stable foundation. You guys have taken a break from each other. This is coming back around. That's what I'm seeing. You guys have definitely been in separation. This is someone from your past that you know exactly who I'm talking about. Water signs. You took a break to try to decipher was this person for you or they're not for you, but you were not being honest. You were not being honest to this person and that is the that's how you get back together. It's very clear, honest communication with the Mother of Swords, Queen of Swords. Clear, honest communication will open the door back up. You guys are supposed to be together. You are supposed to be together. I'm going to get a postcard from Spirit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to take this one because it landed on her wedding. And I will decipher the message out of it. On Earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself in the world. So get to the answers you seek. You must get vulnerable and hear a story when you tell it. Ask why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation, so tell the one we know to be true about you. A story of courage, gratitude, and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. So make sure the stories you're proud of. So, what this is telling me is you have not been honest. You've been telling yourself a false story, water sign. Okay, false stories, false outcomes, and you've been using it to guide yourself. You know, you're not really listening to your inner intuition. You haven't, you were vulnerable, but you ran from that and you slapped a mask on it as soon as you possibly could. Right? You slapped a mask on it and you hid the truth. And it's a judgment call, dude. It's a judgment call. You love that person. So it's judgment day. It's time to strip the mask off, okay? You need to be honest. And I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know if uh, this resonates, if you're a um, cross-watcher or whatever. And just get vulnerable. What do, what do you got to lose? Your vulnerability? Your dignity? Boo-hoo. Grow another one. Peace out.